Muy bien, señores, porque ustedes me lo pidieron, banderas verdes de las mujeres. Sí, 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 aún existen, aún hay mujeres, aunque les digan por ahí que no, no, sí. Sí hay chicas buenas, más que esos que dicen que no es porque no tienen game. No saben cómo salir, hacer game, hacer un right approach y simplemente cotorrear con las morritas. No traen game, ¿ok? Entonces, para aquellos que les interese, porque obviamente me lo están pidiendo, banderas verdes, pues bueno, vamos a ver aquí información de Courtney Ryan. Eh, y antes de comenzar, señores, para los que no están enterados y los que ya están enterados, pero quieren una promoción en Frame, ok, Frame... Ya abrió sus puertas hace un par de semanas. Ya estamos trabajando con la primera generación de Frame. Esos hombres que están pasando por una ruptura amorosa, que quieren recuperarse, quieren sanar, quieren estar bien otra vez, quieren olvidar a su ex y sobre todo reemplazarla por una mujer más joven. Entra a Frame. Te voy a dejar la información en la descripción. Una pequeña cantidad para que entren todos aquellos que me están preguntando. Hay un descuento que está muy caro. Bueno. Entra ahora, solamente te voy a dejar entrar las próximas 48 horas, te voy a dar dos días para que te inscribas a Frame. Voy a cerrar las inscripciones otra vez y vamos a estar dejando entrar poco a poco, ¿ok? Porque hay gente interesada pero no tiene la información correcta. Entonces, ustedes que están pasando por una ruptura, quieren recuperarse, sanar, tenemos llamadas en grupo, eh, interacciones ahí entre los miembros, tenemos una comunidad privada... Estamos interactuando entre nosotros y nos estamos apoyando entre todos a hacer game, a salir, mostramos evidencias y todo lo que hacemos. Así que si no te quieres quedar fuera de Frame, entra ahora y comenzamos con las banderas verdes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan and I've covered pretty in depth the girls you shouldn't date the girls you should not get close to with a 10-foot pole, and some big red flags that you guys should be paying attention to when you're dating a girl. So today I'm gonna to be going over the green flags for women and how to know you've got a good one. So these can be signs to look for when you're just talking to someone, even if you haven't gone on a date with them yet, or maybe you're on your first date and you're noticing some of these things. Could also be something that you notice later on in the relationship. So I think these are pretty good for the duration of the entire time you know someone, I know sometimes people don't reveal their true colors until later on so it can seem really great But these are just some good signs to look out for number one She doesn't play games a confident secure girl who's comfortable in her own skin Does not feel the need to play games with you the girls that play games are often very insecure very immature and have a hard time accepting who they are. So they're constantly after the chase. They're constantly after the next thing. They want to play hard to get to get attention from you. It's all the girls like that that are playing the game, so avoid those. So if you're off to a really good start with a girl, there are no games being played, she's not playing hard to get, she's not ghosting you for four days to get your attention. She's just being genuine and direct and upfront with you. That's a really good thing. And I think a lot of times also guys play the game because they feel like they have to because girls play the game and then girls do the same thing. And it's just this terrible full circle vicious cycle that never ends. So if you start off not playing games, you're not going to have any issues. Number two, she's supportive. And <laughs> Normalmente estas chicas que play games, que están más jugando con tu atención, que obviamente están dejando que tú hagas las cosas y que ellas no hacen nada, no te llaman no esto. Son, muchas veces sí, son jóvenes que están un poco inseguras, pero la gran mayoría de las veces son posmuro, aunque no lo creas. Son esas posmuro que están jugando esos estúpidos juegos. ¿Por qué? Porque igual en el pasado, cuando eran jóvenes, pues igual montaban el carrusel. Ni siquiera tenían tiempo de realmente conectar con los hombres. Por eso en Frame les enseño cómo conectar emocionalmente con las chicas para que tú mismo te des cuenta el tipo de personalidad que tienen. Y en ese momento tú las puedes descartar. descartar perdón. Por más buena que esté, por más bonita que esté, no importa. Si la personalidad que tiene no es compatible contigo, tienes que dejarla ir. ¿okay? Así que si ellas quieren jugar, tú solamente dile, mira, ¿sabes qué? Yo tengo un PlayStation en mi casa, así que si quiero jugar juegos, voy a jugar allá. No tengo tiempo para estupideces. 
I would say this one is often more apparent later in a relationship once you've gotten to know a girl a little bit more because I think in the beginning a lot of girls will come across like they're supportive when really they're not. So it's important to think about does she support my dreams or is she wanting me to put them on the back burner or is she telling me it's stupid or that I shouldn't do something. It's not her choice whether you do something or not and she can't control you. So if someone is supportive and just really telling you to go after something that they think that you would be happy doing, that's a good girl you've got on your hands. Now, if you have a really dumb idea for something, like spending all your money and going in a ton of debt for it, maybe she has her reasons and reservations for telling you, maybe now is not the time, or maybe we shouldn't do this right now. There are always exceptions to these kind of things, but for the most part, I think if you wanna do something that you know will make you happy, and a girl supports you on all your endeavors and your dreams, she's a keeper. This could also be if you're going on a diet and you need someone to hold you accountable or you need a little bit of motivation or she's doing it with you. This is a girl that's going to keep you on track and just cheer you on along the way. She's going to be your biggest cheerleader and I think this is something that a lot of people don't do because there's always a lot of resentment when someone is doing better than someone else hmm. if a girl is not secure and confident in herself. So a girl that's your biggest cheerleader and super supportive is definitely a girl you want to keep around. Number three. Bueno, eso tiene que ponerle mucha atención y a raíz generales es esto. Si tu mujer, muchas veces tu mujer, tu esposa, tu novio, la chica con la que ya tienes mucho tiempo saliendo, si no te apoya, si no se emociona por lo que tú haces, compadre, estás perdiendo el tiempo, ¿ok? O sea, obviamente si ella no te apoya en lo que a ti te gusta, en lo que a ti te emociona, en tus pasiones, en lo que sea que tú quieres compartir, si ella hace cara así que ah, eso no me gusta o no deberías hacer esto, ¿ok? Es una red flag. Por el contrario, si ella se emociona, si ella te apoya en lo que a ti te gusta, si no te hace cara, si no eh, te rola los ojos y si empieza a hacer ese tipo de actitudes, como dice, she's a keeper, o sea... Ella puede estar contigo, ella puede tener un potencial. No significa que va a ser el unicornio, por supuesto que no. Porque muchas veces también dicen, eh, que sí, también está simpiando por las mujeres. No, cabrón, pero se trata de compartir, se trata de realmente convivir, de socializar, de realmente conectar con las personas. Hay que salir ahí al mundo real y a socializar, a ver qué es lo que está pasando ahí afuera. Porque es muy fácil solamente sentarse detrás de una cámara o un micrófono y empezar a decir estupideces. No, eso cualquiera lo puede hacer. Pero salir allá, al mundo real, a hacer game, a conectar con la gente, eso es otra cosa. Y te vas a sorprender la cantidad de personas que hay que te van a apoyar, que van a estar contigo, hombres y mujeres en general. ¿okay? Pero no nos damos la oportunidad. Por eso, señores, yo siempre les he dicho y siempre lo voy a repetir. Y si no me creen, ustedes mismos lo van a ver en el futuro. Ok, ya me estoy convirtiendo aquí, <ríe> eh, me estoy prediciendo cosas, pero es lo que está pasando, les dije, el muro va a bajar, el muro va a bajar, ya está bajando, estoy diciendo, esos que hablan y que dicen que todas las mujeres son iguales, no traen game, y un día van a salir a la luz, ahora, lo mismo, de que hay mujeres buenas, sí güey, sí hay, pero hay que salir a buscarlas, si es que quieres, obviamente, si no, pedo, pero de que hay, hay, que hay personas con las que puedes interactuar, relacionarte, sí, pero mira, hay que hacer el trabajo, hay que tener habilidades sociales, hay que salir y exponerse al mundo, ¿ok? Es el pedo ahorita con las redes sociales, porque toda la gente se está volviendo presosa, incluso con las dating apps, o sea, no hay esfuerzo, no hay esfuerzo realmente por conocer, ni por hombres ni por mujeres, pero en este caso, tú como hombre en lugar de sentarte a quejar como las mujeres se quejan de los hombres, tú deberías salir a hacer el trabajo para que te des cuenta por ti mismo, por ti mismo, que sí se puede. ¿Ok? Que puedes conseguir ahí una chica con la que puedas trabajar, no significa que sea el unicornio, como te digo, pero puede tener potencial, porque la vas a ir amoldando a ti. Es tu trabajo como hombre, ir amoldando a la morra. ¿Ok? Ya no va a llegar así de la nada, oh sí, perfecto, no güey, pues también tienes que hacer, tú siempre, simplemente tienes que detectar ciertas señales, ciertas green flags y en base a eso ponerte a trabajar. Claro, no descuidando tus cosas, no descuidando tu propósito, pero también haciendo un trabajo para que ella esté contigo, para retenerla, ¿ok? La vas a traer 
con tu físico, con tu personalidad, con tu dinero, sí, la vas a traer, pero retenerla, ese es otro pedo, y eso necesitas game, y si quieres game, entra frame. She's interested. So this is often seen when you're on a first date and she's asking you a lot of questions. She wants to get to know more about you. She's genuinely interested in your interests. This is a really good sign and it's opposite of the girl that asks you no questions and just sits there and talks about herself the entire time or doesn't say anything. I think both are equally as bad. So this girl's gonna show interest. She's gonna show that she wants to get to know you and it's gonna make you feel good. This is not to be mistaken with the girl that starts to become interested in everything you're interested in simply because of the fact that you're interested in it. That's a girl that has no idea what she wants or what she's into and is using you as a way to get to those things. This is a girl that has her own interests, but she's also really interested in yours because she wants to get to know you. Number four is communication mm. skills. <laughs> This might seem like the most basic thing in the world, but you would be so surprised how many girls and just people in general completely lack any sort of communication Exacto. skills. So this is not the girl that says I'm fine or have fun when she doesn't mean it. <risa> Tiene toda la razón porque te va a sorprender, así como te va a sorprender la cantidad de personas que no tienen communication skills, que no tienen esa habilidad social, también te va a sorprender la cantidad de personas que sí las tienen, pero tienes que salir a conocerlas, ¿ok? Y especialmente y toda esa gente que se queda presosa viendo redes sociales solamente y viendo cómo hablan y dicen te quedas con una idea. Y no porque tengas una cuenta de TikTok, porque tengas un canal de YouTube que te hagas viral, eso no significa que tengas communication skills. No, al contrario, tienes fama, nada más. Pero hasta ahí, eso no tiene nada que ver con tu éxito. Good luck with that girl. It's going to be a headache your entire life because she can't accurately express how she feels about something. So this girl's going to be very honest. She's going to be able to tell you when something's bothering her and you're going to be able to talk through it because you have a good communication foundation and this is so incredibly important. Communication is absolutely everything, especially in a romantic relationship. So Keep this in mind. If you can clearly tell that something is wrong with this girl and she's in a bad mood, but she won't tell you why or she won't talk about it, that's an issue. And she should be able to communicate to you what is wrong so that you guys can work through it and talk about it. If she can't do that, that's a big red flag. So if a girl can effectively communicate with you and talk through things and get problems solved, this is a huge green flag. Number five. Eso es lo que deben de tener en cuenta, señores, hoy en día. Con todo esto que está pasando, y se los digo yo realmente que yo estoy actualizado en el game. Tienes que hacer el trabajo todo el tiempo, te guste o no, en todos los aspectos de tu vida. ¿okay? Es muy fácil, como les digo, hablar. Es muy fácil para muchos hombres decir, oh, yo me concentro en mí, arriba el MGTOW, y que todas las viejas son iguales. No, cabrón, no se trata de eso. Tú mismo te estás aislando. ¿okay? Y para todos ustedes que sí realmente quieren tener una mujer... Y no tienen game, y no tienen ahí habilidades y eso. No, pues yo sí quiero conocer una mujer, pero pues es que, pues, pues que ya no hay, güey. Pues, no, cabrón, no es que no haya. Es que tú no tienes las habilidades para salir y realmente darte la oportunidad. Cuando conozcas a una con potencial, te repito, eso no quiere decir que ya chingaste. Oh, ya, ya chingué, ya conocí a una chica que es bien buena onda. No, ahora hay que trabajar en eso. Hay que trabajar, ya tienes la base, ahora hay que trabajar. Es difícil encontrar esos green flags, esa base. Sí, es difícil, ¿ok? Pero no es imposible. Y tampoco no quiere decir que ya todo está perdido. ¿Okay? Y se los digo realmente para ustedes que me están preguntando, porque hay unos que toman en serio las cosas y hay unos que nada más están aquí por echar desmadre. She has friends. And I'm not saying she needs to be a social butterfly or have 50 friends. I personally have a very small circle and a couple friends and they mean the world to me and I like it that way because I'm an introvert and I don't really do a lot of things. But having friends just makes it so they have relationships outside of just you. So this shows that she can maintain relationships that are important to her. If you are dating a girl and she's burned every single bridge she's ever had and all her ex-best friends hate her, this is probably an issue and you have to wonder 
who the problem is if she's the common denominator in all of it. That huh. leads me into my next point, which is number six, she's interdependent. So this is gonna be a girl that has a life outside of just you, whether that be friends, hobbies, passions, a career, different things that don't involve you. So think about this. Does she have a life outside of you or does she want to be with you 24 seven and for you to spend every waking moment with her? That's the girl that's gonna get mad at you if you say you're gonna go hang out with your friends for the night, or you're gonna go on a trip with your friends, something like that. She's gonna get mad at you for no reason because she doesn't enjoy anything or have any friends or a life outside of you. Having your own life is so important and it's just gonna make your relationship that much more amazing. So you wanna be with the independent girl, the interdependent girl, the girl who has a life, the girl that can make herself happy and a girl that's whole life doesn't revolve around you. While that might seem like a great thing in the beginning to have a girl that's entire life revolves around you, she has no friends, no family, no other obligations except for you, this is something that burns out and gets really old really fast, especially if you're someone that has friends and a life outside of her. Number seven, she's kind. And while this one seems really basic, I honestly think this is one of the most important things on this list. So I think there's two aspects to this that are really important. One is how she treats people she doesn't really know. And number two is how she treats the close people to her that she does know. So this is the girl that is sweet and kind to the server or the barista, but this is also the girl that is sweet to her mom, who's nice to her sister, who answers the phone when her friends need something. You wanna get one that's well-rounded because I think a lot of girls are really nice to strangers, but then they treat their mom like crap or they treat their friends like crap and they're just really rude. So, or it could be vice versa. They could be nice to the people in their life and then be really rude to someone that they don't really know. So I think it's really important to pay attention to both things because like I said, you want a girl that's just nice to everyone. Why would you want to be with a girl that's mean? This is also a girl that doesn't spend her whole life gossiping. Have you ever met that girl that does nothing but talk bad about everybody else? Or say this celebrity gained weight, or this girl looks ugly, or that girl looks fat, or just mean things about everybody? A kind, confident girl does not feel threatened by the success of someone else and isn't trying to tear people down all the time. She leaves nice Nice comments, she supports her friends, she lifts people up, she makes people feel included instead of left out. A girl that is kind and has a really good heart is the best kind of girl you can possibly date. I promise you this is going to be a healthy and happy relationship if you pursue this kind of girl. So again, a huge green flag. Number eight, we have the glass half full kind of girl. And I'm not saying she needs to be sunshine and rainbows and Little Miss Perfect 24-7. We all have bad days, we all have things that happen to us that we didn't necessarily expect or things that don't go our way and that's normal and it's okay to have a bad day. But I think it's important to be with someone that can see the positives in situations and that isn't just a negative Nelly all the time. It's just nice to be around someone in general that sees the positives in life instead of the negatives. Life is kind of all about the way that you respond to things. So as much as you can't control the things that happen to you, you can control the way that you respond to them. So having a girl in your life that makes the best of a situation, even if it's not the way she necessarily wanted it to go, is a really good quality to have in a partner. Number nine, she has some sort of goals and ambitions. And I'm not saying she needs to want to be the president of the United States, but she should have some kind of goals for herself. So this is gonna vary depending on the girl, but I think just having some sort of goals or ambitions or dreams is a good thing and a green flag, regardless of what that might be. Some girls might want to advance in their career. Some girls might want to get a promotion. Some girls might want to be a stay-at-home mom. Whatever it might be, there's nothing wrong with any of that. Just having the goal and the dream and the ambition in general is better than not having anything at all and being considered a lazy girl. The ambitious girl, the dreamer, the goal-oriented girl is always going to be better than the girl that's lazy, that doesn't want to do a single thing and just wants to sit on the couch all day and watch Netflix. I'm sorry, uh -huh. we all have days where we want to lay around, we all need rest days, we all need a break, but if this girl has no dreams, no ambitions, no goals, no interests, no hobbies, what is she doing? 
Nobody knows, like I said before. You shouldn't wanna be with someone that does absolutely nothing. So a girl that has dreams and ambitions or goals or whatever it is, is a huge green flag. So guys, that is all I have for today for green flags to look for in women. I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for women. Yeah, es exactamente lo que pasa con estas chicas que no hacen nada, güey. O sea, en realidad, digo, he perdido que en la escuela. Ya algo es algo, no sé, tener un trabajo promedio, algo y que realmente te platiquen acerca de sus de sus metas, sus sueños, sus ambiciones. También no hay que confundir las cosas con esas mujeres independientes, eso es totalmente diferente. Normalmente esas mujeres independientes, pues bueno, ya sabes, ¿no? Son arriba de pasando el muro. ¿Ok? Pero esas chicas igual si están jóvenes y tienen ambiciones, bueno, no se van a ser independientes así de la noche a la mañana, ¿no? Tienen que pasar por un montón de situaciones, tienen que montar el carrusel, llegar al muro y después que nadie las quiera, así. Pero en realidad, si está, si está joven, está contigo y tú la mantienes, tú la retienes, pues bueno, esas ambiciones van a ser compartidas. Y ahí es donde entra el balance en las relaciones. Pero bueno, señores, si te quieres unir a Frame una vez más, te repito, inscripciones se cierran en 48 horas aproximadamente. Así que si no te quieres quedar fuera, la información está en la descripción, solamente una pequeña suscripción para entrar a Frame, ¿ok? Te lo prometo, va a cambiar tu vida. Nos vemos en la próxima. Chao.